good and stunning profile pictures are part of a good social media platform. Most of the platform lets you download other people's profile pictures unless they choose to protect it. But Instagram is an exception. Instagram won't let you download other people's profile picture even if their account is public. There are third party applications available for the use, but personally I don't trust them. They can be a serious security threat. So what to do? If you want something that does not exist, then build it. That's it. We are going to build a Python script that will let you download the profile picture of any Instagram user. So let's get coding. So in my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Instagram. So everything that I'm going to do today is going to be inside this folder. Next, I'll use my text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editors you like. In VS Code, I'll create a new file and we'll save it in the new folder that I have just created. Where was it? Yep. I'll save it as Instagram.py. So it will be a Python file now. So now let's start coding. First, we will have to import two modules. Request. Request. And secondly, we need from import, sorry, from BS4 import beautiful soup. So after writing the entire code, I'll explain to you what the code means and what each line does. And also, if you don't know what these modules are, I'll explain to you once I finish coding. That will be more convenient and it will be easy for you to understand them. So for now, just follow me. So once we have imported these two modules, we will have to create a variable username, which will be input. enter the username all right now we need another variable called url which will be https colon slash www.instagram.com make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes Otherwise, it will be an error. So this link will be the profile page of the user which you want the profile picture of. So we will use a curly braces here so that we can replace it with the username that we have just created. Just bear with me. I will explain to you everything in detail. So now we will create another variable called request. You can name it anything you want. I'm just giving the name request and we are going to call the module request dot get URL dot format. And inside that we are going to pass username. All right. Now we need another, another variable called soup. I'm going to call it soup. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going, calling it soup because it is going to work with beautiful soup. Inside that, we are going to pass request dot text with HTML dot all right now we need to f another variable to find something uh, some tags so we are going to use a variable called finder which will find the meta tag from this soup soup.find 
meta with property og colon image so now we need an url to get the url of the image from the finder dot attribute attributes attrs content if you are a web designer or a web coder you know what i am writing if you are not a web designer don't worry i'll explain everything now we need to create a new file to store this picture so with open and i'm going to give the file name same as the username username dot jpg don't forget the extension all right uh, as open as write as binary as picture all right now we need a variable called image again the module requests dot get url the small one dot content and now it's all matter of writing it to the picture picture dot write image okay that's it this is basically the code that which we need to get the profile picture of any user from instagram so let's try this out and see if there is any error or not and if it is working properly then we can move on with explaining the code okay here it is i'm going to use the command prompt here uh, you can run it uh, directly or you can either run it in the vs code uh, terminal as well but i am using this command prompt because i want to see if there is any error or not and my vs code command prompt is a little broken so instagram.py okay right so you can see here i have already opened up uh, the profile page of mr will smith so that i don't get a copyright strike or something all right so i'll copy the username i want you can see the profile picture right so we can let's see if we can get that profile picture so well said it will take some say okay no errors so far well smith all right there you go you can see that it is successful and we are able to download the profile picture of will smith there you go <laughs> so the code is working perfectly so let me explain to you what is happening first we have imported a module called a request request is a module that which we use to make http request to any websites the response will be given from that website and the next module we use is beautiful soup bs4 is basically beautiful soup 4 beautiful soup is used for web scrapping of course so to get information out of html pages or xml pages and kind of that you can use pa html parsers or xml parsers for that so that is what this module is used for now i created a variable for storing the username so that we can enter any username uh, runtime and i have given the url of the instagram profile page of that particular user and this here this parent uh, curly braces is used uh, for python inbuilt method the format method to replace we can replace uh, that curly braces with anything we want now here in this line we are replacing it with the username that we have entered previously so this request is a variable where we will store all the data that we get when we make an http request see uh, it is showing request http library so that http the response of that library or uh, sorry a response of that request will be stored in that variable once we get that response we will use beautiful soup to parse that html page i am using by default html parser which is inbuilt in python you can use any html parsers or xml parsers 
obviously XML passes won't work here, but HTML5 passes can be used, any passer. If you don't know anything about that, just don't mind it, default HTML parser will work. So we are using this parser to parse this entire request. And then we are using the input method called find to get a property or specifically a tag called a meta tag. If you are a web designer, you know what meta tag is. Otherwise, just don't mind it. It is just a tag in an HTML page. So from that meta tag, we are getting something with property this OG image. See? So once we get that tag, each tag has a properties. I mean, different attributes like ID, class, ID or class or uh, content, etc. So this attribute uh, has a, sorry, this tag has an attribute called content. And that is where the image, the profile image is stored. So we are getting the URL of that profile picture. URL of that profile picture, we will get it from this line. It is not the image, it is just the URL of the image. So in next line, we are creating a file with name, the default username that we are given, .jpg, and we are opening it in a binary format. We need that to write or read images. So in the next line, we are using the request tab uh, module to, uh, to find the content of this URL that we have got, which will obviously be the profile picture. Now, once we get the content of that profile picture, I mean the profile picture itself, we will write it into this file that we have just created. Once we have done that, we will get the picture stored in our system. This is the working of this entire Python script. All right, you can do anything you want with it. Of course, I won't be responsible for you getting beaten up for downloading somebody else's profile picture, but if you want to get some logos of certain Instagram profiles or you want to get some celebrities, images, things like that, you can use this as, of course. And you can make any necessary modifications that you want. So this is it. If you want to stop right here, you can stop right here. But I'm going to do some beautifications and bug fixes, etc. For that, I'm going to delete this image for now. And then, uh, first the user will have to know this is just a beautification step formatting so that it looks pretty while running. All right. And there are possibilities of two errors happening here. One is this username does not exist. If you give a wrong username, this program will throw an error. And also, if the network, the internet is not connected, the user, uh, this software cannot get the HTTP request and response. So that will obviously be an error. So we will have to handle that errors. Python has a beautiful method called try and accept. We are going to use just that. We will try this. And if it doesn't work, Except we will print an error saying one is the network is not connected. Please check the connection or enter the correct username all right this will be the code all right so now i think almost all errors are rectified there won't be any error i don't know any i don't know about any errors happening other than that if you know you can please mention in the command section okay now let's see if the code is working correctly as usual i'll open the command prompt I'll type Instagram.py and this time I'll enter just will which is obviously a wrong username. I don't know if any user exists by that but uh, let's see. Of course, of course there was a user with the username will and this is the profile picture. I meant to write the wrong username for Will Smith but it happens to be that user exists. Okay, now let's try. I just want to know dot will dot 
obviously this will not exist yeah exactly please check the connection or enter the correct username that user does not exist all right so if we enter the correct username like this man let's make this download and this was too i, I didn't expect that to happen obviously uh, honestly so this is will smith and we downloaded his profile picture without even opening instagram that's the beauty of it so this is it this is the python code that which you can use and modify according to your need and basically this is the code to download any instagram users by, uh, profile picture so that's it i hope you enjoyed it and if you like the content please subscribe for more videos like this and keep supporting